Griff, you got a lot of TV deals. You got stars, yeah. ABC. Am I, what am I missing? Oh, man. BT. Yeah, I got what, nine TV shows. How in the hell are you able to keep all those deals, talking all that shit on social media? I'm a Give me the secret. No, my, just, <laughs> my brand is built different. <laughs> See, I come from, look, they're trying to put you in the mogul section. Mm -hmm. I like to stay rapper. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you know, look, 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 look. When they want you to say, when you go, you're a mogul now. You, this means you can't say that shit, 50. Right. You can't say it as much as you want. And they want to do that. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here, so I can still say what I feel, like like my honest opinion about things mm -hmm. at points. And then you go, that is that saves me. See that allowed me to say things. I know you look and you go, what in this climate? Why would you say some shit like that? Like some of the stuff I say, and then it's because I can still say it because of the way I. Make the reason I can do the things I want to do at Group A too, say the things I want to say, like fuck Gary V, fuck Adam Twenty Two, fuck Little Dicky. Fuck Vlad TV. Reason I can say this shit, cause I don't work for nobody. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from GroupA2Music.com and today I'm gonna talk to you about 50 Cent being 50 and not losing shit. I don't follow 50, but I go to his Instagram every once in a while. The nigga is outrageous. And the reason he can be outrageous is because he don't really work for nobody. He ain't signed to no label no more. He has a deal with stars, but he has his own production company, G-Unit Productions. 50 Cent is the catalyst and he has his hands in so many different things. He can do what the fuck he wants to do. If he was still a rapper who was signed to a label, he wouldn't be able to say all the shit that he says. But because he has his own brand, he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. This is what happens when you develop a brand. When you are signing somebody and you locked into them, they tell you what you can and can't do. That's why you don't need to fucking sign. When you build your brand, you have leverage. People are gonna come to you, they want partnerships. They wanna be a part of what you're doing and you can make them do that on your terms. But when you come to them, hey man, just click this shit real quick, what's your opinion? Are you trying to get signed? They own you, they got the leverage, you don't. This is why you need to build a brand. I've been telling y'all that for years. You doing all this shit to try to get your music out there. You doing all this shit to try to get your business off the ground. And you're not engaging with the people who are actually paying you attention. You don't want to build a brand. And I can tell you this, as somebody who has had over 30 jobs in their life, there is no better feeling occupationally than waking up every single day and doing what you want to do how you want to do it. A lot of y'all might be doing what you want to do at your job, but you can't do it how you want to. I'm doing what I want to do and how I want to do it. I'm making content for my business in my home with my family downstairs. And this shit's gonna get me paid today and in the future. If you're a serious artist or a serious entrepreneur, click the link in the bio, purchase one of our packages for 60% off. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to build a brand so you can be in a position like I am or like some of these legends are. I'm out the pot. What is y'all thinking? Hell, I don't know. This is a reason I'm dope, dope, dope. Group eighty two music dot com dot com dot com dot com.